I did a poll on Instagram and I asked you guys if you wanted me to show you how I was doing my eyelashes. Of course, everybody said yes, and so here we are. Here's the video. I'm going to show you how to how I applied my lashes underneath my lash line instead of on top of my lash line. So let's get into it. Unfortunately for you guys, I'm going to be doing my eyelashes first because I just don't want to have my hands like up in my face and touching my face after I have my face makeup on. So we're going to do lashes first and that way if they're a disaster, you're not trying to not mess up all of your other makeup. So the first thing that you want to do is put mascara on. Usually I, if you're putting lashes on the top of your lash line, I don't put mascara on first but because we are going to be putting these underneath I want the mascara on first because when you close your eyes you will see blonde lashes on top of like your tape on extensions and that just doesn't really look cute so put some mascara on I have both eyelashes coated in mascara my favorite mascara that I have been using is definitely the superhero it cosmetics mascara i like it it's what i've been using i'll have it linked in the description for you here okay let's pretend you don't see my quarantine nails um <laughs> it's fine guys these are the argel wispies not to be confused with argel demi wispies i actually hate demi wispies the wispies are they're like baby doll shaped, so they're shorter on the edges and they get bigger in the middle. These are my fave. I use tweezers the entire time I'm putting on and off my lashes, so make sure you have a good pair of tweezers. I hold them on the middle to outer edge. This is how I used to apply lashes. I would put it on top of my lash, and then I got this grand idea while I was watching TikTok to open your eyes as wide as you can and and glue them underneath your lashes and I it was not even a question I was like I would never do that I've seen this technique for a couple years and I just always thought I'm way too scared to do that like my eyes are too sensitive like I can't do that Woo! your life is going to be changed okay also I've also seen where people will like snip the lashes into pieces and glue the pieces on. I've done it and I just look ridiculous. Like I cannot get it to look good and I don't know if it's the shape of my lashes. I don't know what it is. You guys, I will never do my lashes any other way than the way I'm about to show you. And I don't know how cute this is going to be. It's very difficult for me to put my lashes on like this. So for me to try and record it for you, for me to have that in for you, heaven bless us all. I'm going to take my little beauty scissors. I'm going to be starting on my right eye and I've kind of learned, this is, I've practiced. It's like, you can see the three big chunks right here and then there's a little tiny baby one. That's where I make my first cut. So that's going to be my outer piece. And then I've also learned just with my eye shape, you're really gonna have to play with your own. I don't need this inner piece, so I'm going to cut in. I'm gonna take that piece off because I don't need it. I'm gonna set it aside just in case. I'm going to put this on the outer portion of my eye and this on the inner portion of my eye. In the past, when I would put my lashes on, I would try not to get any glue up here on the lash. I only had it on the line, and the reason I like these lashes is because look how thin and tiny the band is. But when I'm putting them underneath on the waterline, above the waterline actually, I put the glue on the top portion because that's going to lay up against your other lashes. Again, let's not throw up over my quarantine nails. This is the lash glue that I use. I've used it for several years. I'm gonna put a, like a semi-thin layer on the top and it's okay if it touches the lashes. In the past, that is like a no-no, but for here, it's fine. <laughs> Okay, this is scary close, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do here. I have my glue and it is dried. You wanna make sure that it's pretty well dry. I'm going to line the edge of the lash with the edge of my lashes. And you just wanna look up and you do not want this on your waterline. Go above your waterline. Oh, I'm sweaty. Go ahead and stick it and let go. And it's not like 
very stable. So I'm just going to press it up against and then I'm going to sandwich my real lash and my fake lash and I'm going to pinch right above the glue because if you pinch the glue you're just going to get glue on your tweezers and then I'm going to push the inner edge down and then do the same thing sandwich my natural lash sandwich the fake lash pinch them together above the glue don't pinch the glue or you'll have a mess and then I kind of just go through and pinch the whole thing a few times to make sure it's like on there if you do happen to get the glue just carefully wipe the see and I did so I have a mm, let me find it I just have a wet wipe and I'm going to wipe off any glue that gets on my tweezers. I'm going to go back in and just continue to make sure that it's really on there by pushing up into my real lashes. And I am not touching my waterline. That would burn. It would be irritating. You guys, you could even just do one and look how good it looks. I want to show you so you can be right up in my business. You can hardly, you cannot even see where it's glued on. Do you see that? You cannot even see. So then when I look down, all you see is natural lashes and it looks just like my eyelash extensions. I had eyelash extensions for a couple years and I loved the way they look, but they damaged my lashes. I know, you're in my business. You could leave it just with one and it would be fine. I'm gonna be that girl and put all of them on just to show you. While the glue is drying on the second part of my lash, I will say the reason I like doing it this way is because you can be sloppy with your glue. Glue can get like on your lashes. It doesn't have to be that perfect strip and you don't ever see it. Like it looks so good and I didn't, I wasn't even careful about the way I applied the glue. So I feel like even though this seems like it would be harder, it's not. It's not harder, it's just a little different. It just takes a little practice and I think it's easier than putting strip lashes on top. I think it fits better to different eye shapes. That's what I will say the most of. It fits more people's eye shapes versus just like, you know, because not everyone's eyelid goes nice and round. I know mine doesn't, which is why I always had my lash poking me here or poking me here. I. And I have not been poked once when I do my lashes this way. Let's apply. So I'm going to line the edge of my first lash up with the edge of my new lash because I don't want a gap to be in there. And this is, I feel like, the harder part, so. Anyway, lift your eyelids up, look up to the sky, and kind of push that right above the waterline. Mine's like not sticking, so I'm just gonna give it a little push. But now it's sticking, there we go. So it's a little like overlapping, so I'm just going to take the edge of my tweezer and pull it over just like a tiny bit. Yeah, and that works perfect. Okay, so push that down, and I'm gonna push the inner corner down. It's touching my waterline. Okay, so I'm gonna take my clean tweezers and pinch, sandwich my um, natural lash and the fake lash, pinch above where the glue is, and then work my way in, pulling upward just a little because it's a little close to my waterline. Oh, scary. I'm just gonna mess with it, see if I like it. Something I like to do is take my lash and like comb it downward on the inner just to help it shape where I want it to lay because wherever you leave your lashes, that's where they're gonna dry. So I like to drag it down to help it blend into my natural lashes. And then I'm just gonna go in again and pinch them all right where I want them, right above the glue. And then I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna go back in and curl them, but I want them to be completely dry before I put an eyelash curler to it. This eyelash is on, it is drying. There's just the mascara on this eye and you can see what a difference it makes. I want to get in as close as you can so you can see the difference and I want to look up at the sky just so you can see how camouflaged the lash line is. And when I close my eyelid, you don't see a strip line and that's the most important part to me. If you do get glue transferred up onto your eyelid, wait till everything dries, take a Q-tip and then clean off that extra glue that may have gotten up on top of your eyelid and that's why I like to do my makeup after I put my lashes on. I'm sure as I get better at that, it won't really matter, 
but for now that's just how I'm doing it. And I don't feel them. I feel the weight of them, but I don't feel like any poking anywhere and that's like such a dream to me. So let me go put my other lashes on and then I'll be right back. Voila, what do you guys think? That is with them on. I have not curled them yet and I haven't applied mascara to my inner corner after to kind of blend them. I, what I did do is, um, can you tell how much whiter my eyes are? <laughs> I found these eye drops that I mean, look at my eyes. <laughs> They're so much whiter. So all the tools, everything that I've used will be in the description, including those eye drops. So now I'm going to take eyelash curler. Do you guys like how I'm just like casually standing in my bathroom doing this? <laughs> I don't care. I don't even care how casual it is. I just want to show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I start at the base of my lash and I give like, like a fair size and then I just work my way out. So it's not like one bend. It's just like a pinch, move up a little, pinch, move up a little. So I curl my lashes and yes, it made a little bit of a fallout with mascara on my cheeks, but that's okay. So I'm just going to only apply mascara again, just to those baby inner hairs. And apparently mine don't want to show up today, but I feel like this step blends your fake lash and your natural lash. Oh, you can tell better on that eye. I put the mascara on the false lash and I pull it down towards my tear duct and then I put my natural lashes straight up. And I don't have very many natural lashes down in the corner, but whatever little bit you've got, coat them. <laughs> okay, well it didn't really make a big difference, but whatever. <laughs> okay, I changed out of, my dog is in the bathtub drinking the tub water. Let's just ignore her. I changed out of my Bali robe and I put on my Bali dress. They both feel about the same. They both feel like you're wearing loungewear. This is just much more pretty. I put the rest of my makeup on and I am going to admit something to you. Last time I put my lashes on like this, I washed my face at night but my lashes were too pretty and so I was like, I'll just wash around it and so I washed all my face makeup and I went to bed that night and the next morning I woke up and they were literally still perfect so I wore them a second day not very sanitary I'm not recommending that you should take your lashes off every night but I'm just saying that they looked so good and so pretty that I just left them <laughs> and it was great okay lady out <laughs> lady go out if you guys decide to try doing your lashes like this, please tag me on Instagram in a story so that I can see how you've done them and, and how you guys are liking them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.